Submission Samurai, it's Coach Phil here with Coach Sean. We're gonna go over your technique of the week. This week we're gonna do a basic escape, but I wanna talk a little bit more about uh, hand fighting and just some other details that are involved with escaping the back. Okay, so first of all, I don't want this. A lot of times you see people wait and allow the person to get the seatbelt. I don't want the seatbelt. So I'm always, as I get in this position, if he's got hooks, I'm always keeping my, 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 my hands up close to my neck. It's gonna be very hard for Coach Sean to get a seatbelt. It's gonna be very hard for him to get an underhook. It's gonna be very hard for him to get my, my collar, okay? And there's a lot of drills right here where we're just playing defense, trying to stop a lot of this, okay? So that's one of the things that I encourage you to do. Something else, if you've already made the mistake here, is frame and swim inside. I'd rather have control of his arms and know that they're not attacking my neck than have one over and one under or two over going back and forth trying to attack different sides, right? Once I have both arms under my armpits, I can kind of chicken wing my arms and pinch here, all right? And now the nice thing about this is I can start my escape to either side, okay? So first and foremost, before you start even thinking about your escape, make sure that you're always hand fighting from the back always defending my collars, I'm defending the underhooks, and I'm protecting myself, or excuse me, I'm protecting, protecting the overhooks, and I'm just protecting myself and limiting Coach Sean's control. From here, when I start to escape, my first thought is to get my head to the ground. Once I have my head to the ground, it's usually pretty good. That's a tough battle. That's not easy to win sometimes, but it's the most important, right? His head gets to the ground. Now from here, no matter what grip Coach Sean had, even if I didn't do a good job of hand fighting, Coach Sean's got my neck here, right? There's no way. Go ahead, give me your best shot, Coach Sean. Okay? He's not going to choke me. So the moment my head gets to the ground, I'm no longer attacking his arms. Head to the ground, get the leg. Okay? Protect the hands, head down, deal with the leg. Why? Because I just escaped, I just started my escape on the, on the back. I don't want to escape the back and then allow Coach Sean to step over because I didn't deal with his legs and then come to the mouth. Now, I'm in a bad, another bad position. So instead what I want to do, I'm going to protect and protect my head goes to the ground and now I'm a doom with these legs. So Coach Sean tries to step over the mouth. No, no, no. I'm in on a single leg or worst case scenario, I'm in bottom half guard. Bottom half guard is way better than having somebody on my back. Okay, so I, I basically move forward in my jiu-jitsu if I'm able to get that position. If I'm able to come out on top, that's fine too. Of course, it's gonna create a scramble and that's okay. You just make sure you're looking to get on top and you're looking to isolate a leg. Whether it's a half guard or some sort of butterfly variation, you wanna make sure that you're able to get some sort of control so that you're not in, you know, going from bad position to bad position to bad position. That's never fun. All right? A little defense. Close out March. Have a fantastic week.